Yo, 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 what's going on? It's just boxing. Back again um, with another one. Um, Earl Spence Jr. said, I got to keep my weight in control for future fights. BoxingNews24.com um, Sean Porter came close to beating IBF welterweight champion Earl Spence Jr. in their thrilling unification bout. Um, last Saturday night at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. Um, Spence said after the fight that he can't let his weight get out of control in between contests. Um, he said he cannot continue to blow up more than 25 pounds between fights. Um, Spence hints that he lost over 25 pounds during training camp for the Porter fight. Mm, that explains why he looked the way that he did. Um, um, now they're saying um, Earl's punching power has disappeared. Um, the shots that Spence landed on Porter last night looked weak it, and uh, it looked uh, infectual. Um, it wasn't just a case of Spence not landing cleanly enough for him to hurt Porter. Um, those shots from Spence landing on the button, um, but they didn't have the power on them to hurt Porter. Um, so Spence looked like a fighter that had just gone through a long fat form level training camp, um, the writer says. Um, he says that Spence 29 won, won the fight by a 12 round split decision, but he lost a lot of credibility in the eyes of the boxing public with his boxing performance. Um, Earl Spence himself complained about his weight. He said, um, I got to keep my weight in control from now on. Ain't nothing cool about blowing up 25 plus pounds and having to spend camp losing that blank. Um, said Spence on his social media site after the Porter fight. Wow, man. I mean, that's, I mean, that's something he has to, you know, he has to put that in check, you know. Um, that's one thing that I respect, you know, respect about Floyd Mayweather. You know, he didn't, you know, he didn't drink. He didn't smoke. He knew the key to him being at top, top shape, top condition, and to outperform people is to keep his body um, in perfect condition, you know, and that's something that um, Earl Spence needs to do. He need to hop, uh, he needs to hire a nutritionist. He needs to hire him a private chef so they can be with him, um, you know, for in-house so they can come over, fix, fix all his meals, lay everything out, get everything down, have everything down A1 so he can be in tip-top shape, you know, to fight stiff, stiffer and better competition, you know, because just like a lot of people saying, if he get his butt in the ring with Manny Pacquiao, they saying that he has a great chance of losing that fight against, uh, against Manny Pacquiao. I don't feel like he'll lose against Manny, but um, if he get in the ring with Terrence Crawford, that'll be a tough fight for him, though. Um, um, so, you know, so he had, he has to get that, he has to get that weight thing under control. You know, if, you know, if he's drinking alcohol and stuff like that, he need to cut that crap out. Cause that ain't doing nothing, but, you know, hurting him, you know, hurting his body, you know, so he, you know, he needs to do everything to keep his body in tip top shape. But I'm um, back to the article, back to the article. It said Spence um, looked huge before he uh, started training camp several months ago. To begin preparing for the Porter fight, Porter mentioned Spence weight and it felt it was going to be a potential problem uh, for him in the fight. As it turns out, Porter was right. Spence looked weak and drained during the fight. Spence normally po uh, powerful shots had no effect on Porter. And um, so um, this, is, this is his second consecutive fight. Spence has failed to knock out his opponent, you know, but. At, you know, as everyone know, you know, the the stiffer the competition, you know, the less knockouts you'll get. But um Spence failed to knock out lightweight Mikey Garcia last March in his previous fight. A lot of boxing fans wondered what happened to Spence Power because he should have been able to knock out a fighter that was so much smaller and weaker than him. If Spence isn't going to dedicate himself to training in between fights, he's going to need a, to seriously consider moving up to one hundred and fifty four to start campaigning at a jun junior middleweight. There are better fighters than Porter in the welterweight division. If Spence is struggling against the likes of Porter, then what happens to him when he faces Manny Pacquiao, Terrence Crawford, Danny Garcia, or even Keith Thurman? If you're, uh, if you're Crawford and Pacquiao right now, you're likely licking your chops after seeing how beatable Spence looked last Saturday night against um, 
against Showtime Sean Porter. Um, given how big Spence is, he needs to consider moving up in weight to the 154 weight class. Losing over 25 pounds for training is too much weight loss and it's not good for him in the long run. Earl Spence said, uh, sent out a tweet said, Thank, uh, thanks everybody who, t- who tuned in. Um, tough, awkward, strong um, showed me a lot more than I thought. Uh, he put LOL, but, um, you know, last night was, you know, great spot, uh, great, um, great boxing, um, fights they had last night. Um, we as the fans won, the whole boxing community won, um, great night of fights, man. And, um, you know, I really, truly, and honestly hope that, um, Earl, you know, Errol Spence get his, you know, weight thing under control. You know, he do need a he do need a higher shelf. Um, he do need to go get Blu ray back. Um he did he, he do need a high nutritionist, but I know by his next fight he'll get everything situated, he'll get everything under control, and he'll be back to his normal self. Um this is it's just boxing. Um please hit the uh, like button, subscribe button, um, press the bell icon to get notifications and I'm out. Peace.